What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dilly Dilly Time here, aka Dilly as most people call me today. I've got a video for you guys about next gen. That's right, next gen the city. I'm hyped. I hope you guys are too. Um, I'm not gonna make this video long. I just want to touch up on some key topics that I'm really, really excited about to talk about. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into it, guys. All right, guys, so as many of you guys already know, based on the, the trailer, the new thing now is it's now called the city. Um, there's no more 2K uh, beach. There's no park. There's no neighborhood. There's nothing. It's now called the city, which is actually really cool. With the, uh, the city, they have brought back affiliations. That's right. Affiliations are back. There's four of them, north, east, west, and south. It's actually pretty cool. With the city, it's actually cool. As you guys can see, right here is the event center. That is the thing that is dead center in the city. Um, and that's where all the events are going to be talking uh, happening. So we're going to talk about that later. But right now, we're going to focus on this next thing right here which is rookieville you start out with your my player you start in rookieville you play a couple games and based on your couple games they put you in affiliation where they think you best fit so you can also transfer so you can actually transfer if you don't actually like that affiliation you can transfer right off the bat the only downside is you start back at a pro one every time you transfer so be careful make sure it's the right one you want to do you don't want to lose rep here so it's very very important um after you've played the rookieville and you've decided what uh, affiliation it's going to happen it's going to take you to the boroughs where you'll be given your affiliation or change your affiliation if you want to and that is where you become one of the four that happen the event center like they talked about it's going to be having all the events new ones and returning events in the trailer they look like a 5v5 court side so that's actually pretty cool or court conquer excuse me so that's actually pretty cool that they're adding that in there's also going to be 4v4 events too so i'm pretty excited to see what happens in the event center also what's going to be happening with affiliations is also called rival rival day so that's actually cool and we'll get into that a little bit later but a lot of things are happening in next gen so make sure you get next gen don't get caught in current gen and get left behind please 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 guys next gen is the wave the only thing i want to know is comment down below what console you are getting just so i know just so i can kind of get an idea of where everybody's going one of the cool things that i actually like guys is what is the garage hoops this is now something where you can actually warm up before you play the events for the affiliations um as you guys can see the more you play and warm up other people can join you can play 1v1 2v2 3v3 and horse as well as other types of games um it gives you vc for the first five games you play in there so that's actually really cool they're giving you something but you're also you know um i don't think it's going against your record as of right now this almost looks like they're taking this and they're basically making this cages which is actually really really cool super happy about this um so yeah i mean this is a plus the garage hoops are is a huge huge plus uh, for 2k Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, now we are on the people of the city. As you can see, basically every four to six weeks, you can now vote um, for a new mayor. That's right. Mayors are going to be in 2K21 next gen, which is kind of cool because it's around election time. So uh, it's pretty cool that they put that in there. Um, but basically, you, uh, there's two lines of quests. Uh, the first quest is single player 3v3 games. You challenge within the warehouse found in the court area of each affiliation, which I think is actually pretty cool, guys. Um, and then inside the warehouse is actually really cool. Uh, players can enjoy 2K21 neighborhoods, will appreciate the throwback effects within them. Sure. Um, the other line of, of quests will encourage you to get out and play games in the city and reward you for doing so. Simply as this, complete all of the quests and you'll earn some kind of unique clothing item associated that are not sold in store. So that's actually pretty cool. So if you see people walking around with that, that those items, it's because they did something and they can't buy it. Kind of like formula and any kind of event that you want. So it's actually pretty, pretty cool. The Gatorade trading facility. Ladies and gentlemen, this got a huge upgrade in my opinion. As you can see, first of all, a better design. The, the whole city's a better design. But what you see is uh, Beast is actually right behind uh, the training facility. Beast is one of the uh, affiliates. It's the east side. Um, but this is pretty cool. There's two le there's two levels to it. The first level is your normal trading where you increase your speed, strength, vertical, all that stuff. But the second level is where I think 2K made a huge, huge W on this. Uh, what they did is they now put what's called rental courts. So basically wagers. And if you just want to have fun with your friends and have uninterrupted, uninterrupted fun, this is where you would go. Wagers is really cool because they could now, wagers could be anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour rather than up to two, maybe three hours at a time. So training facilities is a huge, huge W for the 2K community. I'm super happy that they put this in. So Ronnie, Mike Baluba, all the 2K devs, congrats. 
All right, guys, one of my favorite things that they've added now is called the special quartz. It's it's a couple full-size quartz. One's 4v4, the other one's 5v5. But what's really unique about these is they made it with the Kobe signature snake skin design. Uh, his numbers 8 and 24 are in the restricted areas for the opponent's uh, ends of this court. It's pretty cool. It just gives it a kind of a nice, cool, iconic tribute to Kobe, which is really cool. Um, and then, of course, they have him on the scores table as he celebrated his fifth NBA championship as a Merle. So that's, that's actually really, really cool. It's a big W for the 2K community. Um, so I'm super happy for that. Congrats, Kobe and the Lakers. And thank you again, uh, 2K devs. On the fireball. So this is kind of what we do when we say we get flames in the courts. Uh, but now you have to get to 10 games. As you can see, you only get the ball that is replaced uh, with a, a, a ball that's literally on fire on next gen. If you win 10 games in a row on your affiliation courts, not in not in rival courts, on your actual court. So that's kind of cool to see that happen. Um, again, 2K is just changing it. And then I, I feel like this is a, a neutral. It's not a dub or a loss, but it's it's kind of cool. Pink Diamond Plaza, guys. This is something that's completely just for the My Team Triple Threat Online Experience. As you guys can say, see, it literally just says that. So it's just the host. It's not anything that I think we can do with right now if you're playing park or, excuse me, in the city. And then, of course, guys, there is the, uh, the apparel stores. Each appar apparel is getting a store of its own. Adidas, Alter Ego, Drip Brothers, Jordan Brands, Nikes, Under Armour, all that stuff. They all get their own little store. So it's kind of cool. It actually feels like a city. You go downtown, you go, hey, I'm going to go look at the Run store. I'm going to go look at the Nike store, etc., etc." So now you're actually getting that in Next Gen. So there's some pictures of like the stores and all that stuff. So it's actually really, really cool. Um, that way, you know, they pretty much took swags and threw it away, which thank you, 2K. That's a huge plus. All right, guys. And this is what I was talking about with the affiliations. Man, I said that they are back. Northside Knights, Southside Vibe. Vipers, Beast of the East, and Western Wildcats. Great names, 2K. Um, but as you can see here, are the pictures of them. Um, honestly, personally, I have undecided yet. I don't know where I'm going to go, but there are four mayors, um, so it changes. It could potentially change every six weeks. But honestly, these just look like college uh, campuses to me. It's something different. I'm super hyped about it, but I don't know. I, it's just, it's just, it's a neutral again, a neutral thing for me. But the affiliations are a huge dub. All right, guys, so now we're going to be talking about my player rep. Basically, what happens is you get your full player rep when you play in your affiliations and you get a bump down in rep when you play on rival court. So, you know, if you're seeing a YouTuber and he's in, you know, the east and you're in the in the north and you go and play him, you're not going to get as much rep. So kind of be careful with that. Um, if you're rep grinding, um, a lot of us are going to be rep grinding on, on day one. Um, so just be a, a conscious of that moving forward. R uh, rival day conquest. So basically you have events that you have to do um, in the final two weeks of each mayor run. Um, and then within that, uh, as you guys compete, you'll get uh, the scoreboard, which is kind of interesting. We don't know if it's going to be um, cross-platform scores or if it's just going to be PlayStation and Xbox. We have no idea yet. We just hope and wait to see what happens. And then what happens is the final take place is in the event center. Basically, like I said, everything's happening in the event center. Rival Day Championship where you will work your way to make sure that your, your affiliation is crowned. For the city so it's pretty cool you get vc and prizes that are both uh for your affiliation so that's pretty pretty cool um so again a huge w with rivalry day everybody's been wanting that back for a while and with next gen 2k made it happen mayor this is what i was talking about every every affiliation has a mayor so there's four mayors they're all competing to see who they are as the number one mayor so with that being said you get affiliation videos they get to uh, create sort of videos with their term and then they get to put on the jumbotron on the court areas such and such so it's actually really cool that's actually really cool custom playlist they get to create what your uh, affiliation listens to uh, while they're out while you guys are out there playing basketball they design the courts they design the murals and of course they designed the uniform selection, which I can only assume is going to be on Rival Day Championships or when you're competing in the rivalries. So all in all, guys, it's a really quiet thing. And then all, lastly is just updates. As you guys can see, you can walk and play with the ball. Skateboards and BMXs are improved. Here's the new wheels. Here's the new decks. So all in all, uh, a really, really cool dub. What I'm really excited about, guys, is the cosmetic. You can now make your player look a certain way, which is actually cool. And then different hairstyles, which is a huge dub. We've been wanting more hairstyles. We've literally had the same hairstyles for like four games. So it'd be nice to see something different, guys. I'm super, super excited about that. And you can also, of course, with accessories, rep your affiliation, which is a huge dub in this community. So all in all, this is a great, great upgrade for the next gen. I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys are too. Um, with that being said, guys, don't forget to drop a like comment subscribe if you're new this is your boy dilly dilly and i'm out